Hello and welcome to FNL for another Friday night. Filming at the Dean every Friday night. I'm Jessie, this is my lovely co-host Vetti. Hello. We've got a lovely show ahead, don't we? We do, Jessie. Tonight on the show, we've got local Perth band Almost Sunday playing. Uh, I'll be checking out a bar in Northridge. And Jessie, you joined the circus. How did that go? Uh, I did join the circus. I thought I was just going to be juggling maybe a little bit of unicycle. Mm -hmm. No. It was a lot difficult than I thought it was. We'll have a look at that later. But first up, here is, here's Aaron and Ryan roving around the Dean. Thanks, guys. I'm now with Thieps, the manager of the Dean. How you doing, mate? I'm doing good. How are you? Mate, I'm fantastic. Always am. I'm at the Dean with you. Game on. That was my girl's voice. You with you. Uh, mate, what is going on tonight at the Dean? Uh, tonight we've got the guys from the Australian Institute of Quantity Surveyors. They've taken over acoustic sessions, so they're down in the beer garden right now, just having a bit of a storm. Uh, and then later on we've got DJ Birdie, who'll be pumping Zone 2. The boys from Spanish Fly, they'll be in Zone 3. Should be good. Should be good. So get down to the Dean, and uh, mate, uh, the biggest dance floor in Perth. I'm pretty confident it is, yeah. So if you need a big dance floor, get down to the Dean. Say hello to Thieves for me. And now we're going to go and see who Ryan's got. Over to Ryan. Thank you, Aaron. All right, now I'm here with Amy Henderson, editor of Perth's only gay magazine out in Perth. Amy, how are you? Very good, thanks, Ryan. Fantastic. Now, tell us exactly what Out in Perth is about. Well, Out in Perth is a little bit like our queer community in Perth. We're uh, fun and colourful and uh, a bit diverse. <laughs> Fantastic. And um, what's hot in this month's paper? Um, we've got a very hot cover. We've got a hot surf boy on the cover because surfing seems to be the gay thing to do at the moment. There's gay surfing carnival. There's a gay website for surfers that's just started up. Seems to be the, the hot thing. I see. Check it out, guys. And um, events, art, what's happening this month? There's a lot of cool stuff happening. Um, there's a couple of cool plays going on, something called The Myth of Julian Rose over at the Blue Room, Whoppers doing Anything Goes, which is very camp. And um, we got a great interview with Siri and McKellen, which was fun. Absolutely brilliant. Now I hear if you go onto their website, there's a click there that lists all 200 dis distribution places. So go down, pick a paper up, and it's back to you, Vetti. Thank you, Aaron and Ryan. Now, Perth Style Charity Ball is coming up July 30th. Raising money for HIV and AIDS, and it's a tribal theme. Mm -hmm. The what Star would you Label. Wear for a tribal theme? I would wear like leopard print, some leopard sexy print. leopard print dress. What would you wear, Jessie? Probably like an elephant suit. Elephant yeah. suit, that's yeah, fine as well. <laughs> Pretty hot. Uh, Paloma's <laughs> talking to one of the organisers now with Perth Style. Thanks, guys. So I'm here with Heather Robbins today, coordinator of the Style Aid Photographic Exhibition, which just closed down on the weekend. So you come back from a two year hiatus. Um, how are you going getting back into the swing of things? Um, well, it's been a fantastic opportunity. Um, I was brought onto the committee September of last year, and um, so it's my first year on the committee. And um, it was such a wonderful opportunity, and since then I'm now a permanent. Fantastic. So just tell me a little bit about what Style Aid is all about. So it's raising money for HIV AIDS. Is that in Australia or all over the world? Um, Style Aid is actually Australia wide, um, and um, I'm, I think it's even international as well, but don't quote me on that. Um, but yeah, uh, Starlight in Perth has been running, this is its 13th year, and it's um, a very large fundraiser for the AIDS Council. Um, yeah. I understand it's actually the uh, biggest fundraiser that for AIDS in Australia, that one. So uh, a little bit about the theme, we had a tribal theme this year, tell me about uh, the concept for that. Uh, Ali May, the head stylist of Style Aid, actually came up with the concept of tribe, um, along with obviously the rest of the committee putting, you know, giving it momentum and building the concept and idea. It's very much focused around tribes within the community, um, not necessarily ethnic tribes, but very much different cultural tribes, whether it's city, uh, rural, um, gothic, um, fashion eaters. So definitely uh, very much subcultures and demographs all over Australia. Well, thanks so much for coming on the show today. And uh, back to you guys, Jesse and Betty. Okay, so I've noticed there's a lot of heap small bars opening up all over Perth. Now, Steph and I went to one the other night. Oh. It's a new bar in Northbridge. It's called The Bird. It's cafe by day, bar by night, and it's great for the Perth music. Awesome. Music lovers. So you had a bit of a girls' night out. <laughs> we did. We did. It was really, really fun. 
Oh, we had a good night. It's a really, really cool place. It kind of has a walking into your mate's house kind of vibe. It's really cool. There's, it's warm and cozy and there's armchairs, and, but then there's this big dance floor, so it's a really cool place. Yeah, you got your dance floor, then you got the outside area, which is really cool, and they've got this big stage platform. You can hang out there as well. Yeah, and despite being an outside area, it's actually really warm and cozy, so I reckon it'll be a really cool place to go in winter. It's yeah. really fun. And I got to chat to the owner, Mike. Why did you name this place The Bird? Oh, it's such a long process to explain that. I just tell everyone it's a secret. Oh, okay. So it's a secret, the naming of The yeah. Bird. And what events do you have on during the week here? Uh, Apricot Railer on this Saturday, uh, but typically we've got Wednesdays as a party night, like what you're seeing behind us now. Thursday is hip hop, Friday, Saturday, touring acts, that's where most of the rock and roll is. Uh, uh, Sunday is jazz and improvised grooves, and Tuesday is our jazz night as well. And what kind of crowd do you get coming down here? Young people and young professionals, a lot of the creative sorts. It's, yeah, it's really nice. Uh, this job's really cool. I get to meet a lot of people that I, I like. So, yeah, yeah, a good crowd.